has been a hot minute since I last made a video and an even hotter minute since I actually sat in front of the camera for one. My look has changed a bit. Uh, I dyed my hair. It is continuing to grow out. And what else? Uh, I don't think I mentioned it properly in a video, but I have moved from Japan back to America, so that's where I am now. Uh, I missed the first birthday of my channel. That was back on June 20th, and I didn't do anything for it. Oops. So the last video I posted was four months ago, and I figured after missing the one year mark of my channel, it was about time to get back to it. And I have so many ideas for like vintage videos and art videos and tutorial style videos, but I just can't do them all right now. So when I thought of starting it up again, I honestly didn't know where to start. Finally, I figured a good way to get back into the swing of videos while also incorporating a bit of each of the ideas I mentioned would be to do a desk tour and show you guys where I do all my art now. So without further ado, here is my lovely olive green antique desk. Supposedly, it is truly antique and from around the 1920s. I honestly have no idea how to date or verify what era furniture might be from, but my mom, who found it at a garage sale of all places, said the people who were selling it said it was someone's great-grandmother's vanity. So, obviously that checks out. And yes, it is actually a vanity, not a desk, and I do use it as a vanity as well. These two side compartments open up, and on the right here, I keep all the makeup that I use pretty much daily. We have fake eyelashes, some lotion, and all the makeup in this little cardboard brownie box. I mean, it kind of has some vintage vibes too, don't you think? Now here in the left compartment, I keep all my stationery and letter writing things, along with other cute paper things for writing little notes on. Cute things like this bring me so much more joy than just regular post-it notes, so even though it might be silly, those little details make life sweeter and more enjoyable for me. Now we come to the middle drawer, where I keep a few of my pens and pencils. On the right, I have my iPad, journal, and date book. Yes, I still use a date book. I bought this one right before I left Japan because I had used some new date books all through high school and I couldn't let the tradition die just yet. I should have gone into the obvious and described to you the things I have on top of my desk here, but I didn't, so I'll just do it now. This is actually how I have my desktop set up most of the time, but of course a bit more tidy than it might usually be. Uh, but this lamp is always here, it used to be my grandmother's, and I just think it goes really well with this desk. The glass base with the roses in it makes it versatile enough to match the green color and the flower details that are carved into the wood. I added these fake leafy vines on each side of the mirror because I had them lying around, and they drape from these little bloop thingies really well, so that also fits the floral woodsy natural vibe I've got going on. Okay, now I hope you don't think me too weird for this one, but I keep some of my Twin Peaks paraphernalia here as well. I mean, who doesn't love a little daily reminder of the most glorious cult classic TV series to come out of the 90s, am I right? And they fit the aesthetic of the desk so well. Other little trinkets I keep here are some Disney pens, a little pencil sharpener shaped like a record player, itty bitty little bears, and my tiny succulent and its itty bitty green pen. I just got the plant a few days ago from a friend and have yet to name the plant or the alien, so if you have name ideas, please give them to me. I will be checking the comments for them. So that is everything that is on and in my desk, but if you've been paying attention, you probably noticed that it's lacking in a few things. How can I paint my drawings without any paint? What kind of artist keeps only one pencil in her desk? And where even is the paper to draw on? All of those things are scattered about my room in very random places. Here are my paintbrushes, which I keep on top of my bookshelf. Here's my pencil box, a repurposed cardboard cookie box that I keep on a shelf in my bookshelf. And here is where I keep all my paper and all the sketchbooks that I have ever drawn in, tucked away so cozily in these two drawers. And here's the paint that I should have mentioned earlier, which I keep in a drawer in my closet. I hope this isn't weird. Please tell me I'm not the only artist who keeps art supplies stashed all around the room. Anyway, now that everything's out, I wanted to actually get a little artsy and do a little rubber hose speed paint for you, just to show you that I actually can use all this stuff. So let speed paint commence. Conductor, there's a dear. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear your 
that was my desk. Uh, a little bit of drawing, a little bit of me. Um, hopefully I can get back into the swing of this properly. I can't make any promises, of course, uh, but I will be posting art and pictures on Instagram, so find that link in the description, and hopefully I'll see you there.